what is up welcome back to the channel guys today guys we're training back today in under an hour now today guys i want to go over a couple things i've always emphasized the length and contraction which is important but we always want to make sure that we're doing the shortened contraction as well too and i find that adding that in there as well as the length and contractions give you that much more of a pump overall plus a lot of times when it comes to contractions a lot of people can't feel their back and yes it's good to make sure that we're stretching but the actual contraction, the shortening of the muscle is where most people really can't feel their lats. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple exercises that will help with that. So without further ado guys, keep eyes glued to the screen, here's glued to speakers. Let's learn some shit. Good, really engage your core so your back doesn't arch back. Yeah, there you go. I've been playing like on with like a lot of the range of motion and stuff and it's I find it's like you overemphasize the stretch part which is good everyone's so stuck on just that part yeah. you see a lot of people doing just like the stretch and they're just like yoink and then they're back which is like fine because mm. science said so but if we force um if we force the the positive contraction or the shortened contraction yeah. So if we're, if we're pausing this, we're, pump, we're basically like sucking blood in here and then when we're lowering it or you know back to lengthen, that has more, like there's more emphasis there when you've already gassed it here. Yeah. So to hold this contraction is, like, when you're, if you think about it, holding the positive contraction, the short contraction is the beginning part of the lengthened on the way down, right? So when we're here and then we're releasing, right? If we're just popping here and releasing, we're only really emphasizing the stretch when it's got tension on it at the bottom, more so than having it, having it start from here. From the top. From the top, right? Right. So then you're like, the blood in you is already pumping. It doesn't take that much time for your, you know, for you to feel your lats or whatever muscle that's working. That's where you're now, you're like, you feel it way more just starting. Good, let open your shoulders up, stretch. Yeah, there you go, good. Good. Another reason why we do this is what I'm noticing a lot is everyone that we talk, I talk to about, you know, training back, they can't feel their back, right? And you, can't, you won't be able to feel your back if we're always just emphasizing the stretch, which is your, like you should, like if we're, you know, you want to lengthen, right? And then pull, but if we don't spend any time back here, this is a contraction, right? right. Most people can't do this. If you can't flay your lats, you aren't training your back. So you're just pulling shoulder and, and you're pulling shoulder and biceps. Yeah. And you will flay your lats eventually, but you're just mostly just doing this. Yeah. And then you're using your traps and your lats and then your you know rhomboids. Yeah. Instead of being able to do this and flare your lats. So like when you spend time here, okay, now we can actually like engage our lats more.
Spaß, Mann. <lacht> All right, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know what comes with that talent. It is transparent, vulnerable truth. And guys, for coaching, johnnyshu.com. If you want to know more about my coaching, guys, book yourself a one-hour video consult with myself. We'll go over training, nutrition, supplementation, or even mental health. Anyway, guys, until next time, you know how it is. Iron sharpens iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing.